Good evening everybody. We're here to show this 2016 two-tone barbecue porch concession trailer. Did a few upgrades on the 2016 models. Uh, first of all, they have 5,000 pound axles now, which was 3,500 pounds. And we've extended the height six inches, so now it's seven and a half foot in height. So this trailer here is 22 foot long, eight foot wide, and seven and a half foot in height. We'll do a quick walk around here before it starts raining. It's been raining here in Georgia for the last three weeks. So we'll try to make this snappy. Enjoy the video. If you're interested in one of these, please email me at mlj963 at gmail.com. My name is Marty. I don't answer too many questions on YouTube especially prices because they do fluctuate. Enjoy the video. Two-tone, silver and black. It's the first two-tone I've done. Looks great. I got another one coming in. Black and brandy wine. As I said, it's got the 5,000 pound axles now with six lug wheels, radial tires. Waste tank, dump valve. This is your shoreline here, it's 50 amp, twist plug, locks in place. This is your water outlet here. Lockable hatch as you can see. You've got two ways to fill it up. You can fill it up right there. That fills your tank, gravity fill. And that right there is for your city pressure. So when you fill your tank up, you use your pump. This is a, used with city pressure. Of course it's lockable, which is great because nobody can get into your water contaminator or something like that. It's V-nose, three foot. Seven spade plug. It's got the extended triple tongue, which is great for being able to turn sharper curves. You got an outlet there for that side. Also got a place in the bottom here to come out of it if you want to put up some open lights or something like that outside. Two and five sixteenths ball coupler. It's a 24 inch stone guard there, chip guard. Concession window, it's three foot high, five foot wide, vertical slide, it's got a six foot counter here, folds down, it's got the awning on it, double lock. The smokers on the porch here are reverse fly. They do have burners in them. The back porch there has a 36 inch door on it. Half door. Wide enough to get what you need through there. Now, as I said, the barbecue smoker here is a reverse fly. It has a two burners, two gas burners, 58,000 BTUs each. A 
double tank holder there you can use either 20 or 40 30 pounds tanks you got stainless steel on the walls behind the smoker this is the firebox which has two burners in it in there and one way back there in the back Top of that is a warmer box. Put three shelves in it. And cook your food, put it in there and keep it warm, or you can put ribs in there and cook them. The temp gauge there and one on the warmer box. There's your vent. But as I try to tell people, the, when you use gas, treat it as an oven, close it up, close the vents. You have to vent it some. Don't, don't open it all the way. You'll lose your heat. Got two pull-out two pull racks. There's the baffle in the bottom there. It's just a 3 16 plate. Runs the full length of the chamber. That way, the smoke and heat comes out of the firebox there, runs underneath that baffle. Comes up right here, up over your racks, and out your stack there. It's a reverse flow. That baffle gets hot, radiates heat, also keeps the smoke and the suet directly off from your meat. Stainless steel shelf right there. Here on the back porch, you got a hundred pound propane tank which is hooked to the equipment inside. Three quarter inch black iron pipe, two stage pressure regulator, shut off valve out here, aluminum floors, a little light out here. 12 volt light for travel. On the floor you have tire compartment, spare tire, entrance doors also 36 inch. It's got the flush lock. Inside it you have a another outside receptacle which is nice to have. You don't know what you might want to put there, maybe a little electric smoker, I don't know. Inside, white aluminum on the walls. Aluminum tread plate floor. I'll start here to the right. You have a work table here, a four foot, four foot work table, two foot wide. Purple K 10 pound fire extinguisher, which means it's for grease code requires that. ABC is not grease. Two switches there, one for the outside porch, one for the inside. Got an area right here which is 36 inches wide. You can either put the refrigerator or freezer over here if you had to move it or you could put a prep table, salad table, or some other type of refrigeration or whatever you choose. There's your inside window. Got a counter in here also. Got extra receptacles up there. Might want to put a microwave or something of that nature. Here in the V nose, you got three cabinets. There's one back there that you can't really get to unless you move the refrigerator. You got three sinks. They're 10 by 14. 10 inches deep. There's three of them. Commercial. Swing faucet 10 inches. Hits them all. 
when you got a hand sink over here, the gooseneck, all commercial stuff. NSF approved. Got the water on right now, and as you see, that's. Now let me turn it on. Right there's the pump. Turn it on, and it's on demand. It comes on as you need it. It's cold, hot. Plenty of pressure, about 55 pounds probably. That right there is coming from the holding tank. If you hook the hose up, you'll have whatever pressure comes out of the hose. Above it is a soap dispenser. And of course, to, as a reminder, paper towel dispenser that you can use your elbow. You ain't got to use your hands to contaminate it with. Hands free. As I said, that's for your pump, that's for your hot water. You always want to shut your hot water off and make sure it's full of water before you turn it on so you don't bust the element in it. Got extra receptacles up here in the V-nose. In case you want to put some shelving for popcorn machine or hot dog roller or anything. Back here's a 100 amp panel, but it's only got a 50 amp service, of course, and it has 220 in it. There's no 220 in this trailer, but if you ever need it, it's there. Plenty of receptacles, or I mean, I'm sorry, breakers, and the breakers, the reason why there's so many is because I have all these receptacles on separate breakers. You'll be plugging in high amperage stuff on it. There's your tie downs for your refrigerator. And freezer, electronic control, that's your refrigerator. So locking wheels. Roll this out and clean under. Health department loves. They're both 23 cubic uprights. I'll open them up. This one here is running. Your room. I, I'm not for sure how many racks there are. Four, I believe. The freezer here's not been turned on. And it gets cold real quick. It also has a self-closing door, as you can see. That way, you ain't got to worry about it not being closed. And of course, that's another thing the health department likes because you don't need your food spoiling on you. We got some switches back here for the fan. This one here is for the light. That one's for the fan itself. And this up here is to control the speed of the fan. And crank it either low. That way, if you don't need to use it for all your equipment, or you can turn it up. When it's turned up and you close these windows and doors, you can barely open them. That's how much vacuum that this hood has in it. The small of a trailer. It's a six foot wide, low proximity hood. And of course it has the aluminum filters in it. They're removable. Deep fryer there, two baskets. 
got this all covered up, ready to go be shipped to Colorado. From the statically controlled, you got a little chute there to put on it to drain your grease. The heat fryer also has a disconnect, quick disconnect, so you can disconnect it. Got a couple screws up under here you can take off and remove it out of here and clean it. Got a two burner griddle here, three quarter inch steel plate. Ain't nothing going to warp. Lasts forever. It's a 24 inch by 24 inch. A place there to turn your pilots up or turn them off. I myself prefer turning them off. Why? Because if you're not using that piece of equipment, gas still comes out of the pilot light and you'll smell it. Don't like that. I just use a long lighter to light it. This here is your four, four burner range. They call it a hot plate. I call it a stove. And each drink is 12 by 12. Cast iron. It's all sitting on a six foot stainless steel table, which is also molded to the floor and the wall. All this is supplied from outside there, three quarter inch pipe. We've got another shut off valve here. In this case something happens, quickly shut it off. lines, mold resistant. Each piece of equipment has its own regulator, step down regulators. One last thing is the air conditioner. 13,500 BTU. We've also upgraded the cover plate here on it. It's a low profile. The knobs have changed. They used to be out here. Kind of hard to get to. Turn this fan off. It's a little noisy. Don't need a light. Turn these off. Once again, thanks for watching. You can email me at mlj963 at gmail.com if you want one of these trailers. Have a great day. Thanks.